Hey guys, it's Wayne from Sling Pilot Academy. Welcome to our pilot training series. Today we'll be covering GPS holds on the GTN 650 and G3X Touch. Another feature that's possible on the GPS, which is pretty darn amazing, tracking, flying, intercepting a hold under the IFR yeah, system, probably one of the most challenging things you can do to, during your IFR rating. If you have the GTN 650 GPS, this GPS makes it unbelievably easy. And Will's gonna demonstrate right now. Say that we wanna set up a hold over the Queen Mary. Pretty simple to do. We'll go ahead and hit the home button. Go back to your flight plan. And then go ahead and touch the VPLQM. We're gonna hit the button that says hold at waypoint. Now based on what instructions air traffic control gave you, you have all these different instructions on how exactly you wanna hold. So let's do something easy. Let's say that we wanna hold on the 090 radial. We're gonna enter that, and then we're gonna, since it's the radial, it'll be the outbound, not the inbound course there. And say that we wanna do the standard turn in the hold, which is right turns. Now, we wanna do a timed leg, it's a one minute leg. Uh, other options would be a distance leg. Say that air traffic control told you to hold it on a five mile leg. We could change that time to distance and do it that way. We could even insert our expect further clearance time. This thing really does it all. We can hit this preview field and it's gonna show our course inbound to the hold. It's gonna show the radio we're holding on. It's gonna show us the hold we programmed. Now visually that looks pretty accurate. So we can hit back and then we can uh, load the hold. And it's gonna tell us exactly what to do. It's gonna display our hold as well as our entry right onto this map. And we're gonna go from there. This is gonna be a teardrop hold. So Will's gonna set the heading bug for the appropriate heading to fly this hold. So if the outbound course is 090, we're gonna pick 30 degrees to the left of 090, which is 060. I was testing you, Will, be you passed it with flying colors. <laughs> right to 060. So after this, uh, the two indicator flips, indicating that we've arrived at the Queen Mary, we're gonna go ahead and turn to our adjusted outbound course for the teardrop entry. And it's actually gonna tell us exactly how to hold. It was blinking teardrop shows us what distance to turn. Will's starting his one minute timer for the hold. All right, so as some of you know, and many of you will learn, the outbound leg of a timed hold is one minute. So we're at about 45 seconds. And once that timer down here says a minute, Will's gonna start his standard rate turn to the right to re-intercept the uh, inbound course here, which mind you is gonna be the reciprocal of 090. There's a minute. We've restarted the timer, and we're standard rate turn back towards our inbound course. The GPS makes all this possible. Normally you would have to hold at a uh, intersection or at a station using DME or some other combination of VORs in order to do that. The GPS, we can hold at literally any visual point or any, any fixed point on the earth. And as you can see, as he flies a little bit closer to that inbound course, the needle's gonna come in and he's just gonna keep his turn up until he intercepts that needle and flies back inbound to the Queen Mary. All right, so we're just about inbound. Will's gonna restart his timer and we're gonna be on a one minute inbound leg. He's bugged his outbound course, always staying ahead of the airplane, one of the most important lessons you can learn and do in aviation. Okay, and we see our distance from the station, I put that in quotation marks because it's not really a station, it's just a visual waypoint, but we're 1.4 miles away from the Queen Mary. Now it's supposed to be a one minute inbound leg. So if we are more than one minute, we need to shorten our time outbound. And it looks like we might need to shorten our time outbound by about, I don't know, 10 seconds or so. What do you think, Will? Yeah, it'd be close. All right, we're looking for this arrow to flip. Right now it's two and it's gonna flip to the from indication in just a second, there it went. And that's how Will knows to restart his timer and start his outbound turn. There's the Queen Mary down there, hello buddy. All right, so as Will turns to our 090 outbound course, which is the radial that we're holding on. We're gonna fly outbound for one minute and we said we're gonna, we're gonna cut it short by just 10 seconds so we can try to get that inbound leg just accurately on the one minute mark. All right, let's go ahead and turn at the zero, the 50 seconds. On a little earlier than our one minute outbound, the time prior, and we'll see if we can get that inbound course a little more accurate. And we've re-intercepted our inbound course. Should be pretty darn close to a one minute, 180 degree turn. Our wings are level, and there's our one minute mark. We're gonna reset that timer, and we're gonna see how we do on the way in. All right, we're just under half a mile to remain here before the uh, waypoint. 
And as we come to our one minute mark, we're gonna pretty much hit the nail on the head, I think here. There's a minute and we're gonna see that thing flip in a moment from to to from the arrow, there it is. So I say that's enough.